Welcome to today's 6-5 video broadcast where we explore the future of document productivity with Adobe Acrobat Studio. Adobe, the inventor of the PDF, is now reinventing how we work with documents with the power of AI. And I must mention, we're both avid users of Acrobat, the AI assistant, and Acrobat Studio. Joining us today is Michi Alexander, VP of Product Marketing for Business Professionals at Adobe, to discuss how Acrobat Studio unifies insights, collaboration, and content creation workflows to unlock speed, accuracy, and impact for businesses. Let's dive in. Thanks, Melody. Super excited to be here. Yeah, happy to have you. And you too, Keith. Always uh, good to really, see you. Absolutely. It, it, you know, Mel, like you said, um, I'm, I'm a power user and, and I love all of these new enhancements. So I'd love to just get into it. Awesome. So we've seen how dramatically the document game has changed over the past few years. We're seeing kind of this perfect storm of remote work, teams across different regions, time zones has made collaboration complex. AI is obviously reshaping what's possible with content. And people are literally, not literally, not literally. <laughs> and people are drowning in information, but starving for actual insights. So you've been in this space a long time. How are you seeing this, this evolution? Teams really working with documents differently now. And where does something like Adobe Acrobat Studio fit into that bigger picture? Yeah, sure. And so to your point, like the landscape is totally different right now with Gen AI. And what we're seeing is like what's being expected of knowledge workers is fundamentally changed over the past few years. And there's a couple of really major themes that we're tracking and, you know, really solving for for our users. So the first one, and you mentioned this, it's like there's information overload. With um, Gen AI, there's just this explosion of content. And so what's being asked of users is to be able to break through and get, um, break through like all of the information, figure out what matters and really get to results faster. And mm -hmm. everything is about speed, getting more done and faster. Um, and then from a collaboration standpoint, collaboration is fundamentally changing. It used to be just human teams. Now it's like human and AI teams that are mixed. Also collaboration is expected, not just at the end of a process, but it really starts right from the front. And then what's also really changing is just communication. And yeah. users are being asked to like communicate with impact. And before it was very much on the marketing teams to you know create the content or create the presentations. But what we're seeing now is just this proliferation of like who's being asked to create content. And the expectation is that it's not just about the content you create anymore. It needs to be visual. It needs to be in other formats to really resonate and keep up with the ongoing market trends. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's really, uh, you know, some great points there, because if you think about the speed of business, it continues to accelerate. You know, Misha, I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about some of the specific ways in which enterprises can actually get some value directly from Acrobat Studio right now. Yeah, I think it's a great question. So first off, documents. Documents are everywhere. And we as Acrobat, like PDF is our number one file format. It's the number one file format for businesses worldwide. And there's over 3 trillion PDFs in circulation. But I think what's really interesting is like when you think about what kind of content is in PDFs, it's like your most valuable and final form of copy. So it's like your contracts, it's proposals, it's information that is so valuable and very important for an organization. And so even though there's all of these documents all over the organization, there's a few things that aren't keeping up. So there's the critical insights are just buried in long documents. There's PDFs everywhere, but a lot of organizations aren't able to really get to the insights that are in those documents and to be able to use them. And so you know, teams are spending a lot of time searching for information and a lot of documents are still like paper documents. And so like the digital versions are scanned in. Um, and so key and really important information is getting lost. I think even if you are finding the PDF that has the content, a lot of times the PDF also gets disconnected from like the information that you got from a user. And so you have your PDF here. It doesn't have context, which is often just a note. And so you're not quite sure what to do with that information. 
Um, and then the third thing is like, then usually with documents, you have a document, you get your insights. And a lot of times you have to create content from them. So like, I have a long report, I may need to create a summary, I may need to create a presentation, I might have to create an infographic. And so really consuming a document is just the start of that workflow. And Acrobat Studio is really designed to address three, three key points. So getting to insights, rethinking what collaboration looks like within the document space, and then also being able to create content that's both easy to create so that there's no design skills necessary, but also can help communicate with impact. Yeah, that communicating with impact, I think, is so important. And you talked about you know being able to design and not everybody feels confident in having that skill getting to that point of being like, I'm confident that I can design something. And we know that when people have some visual to follow along with, they do absorb the information better. So you talked about the different types of documents, how things have changed in terms of contracts, reports, research, proposals, things like that. But And the fact that these are really long, complex and unstructured documents. So how is AI helping to kind of unlock that value of that unstructured data? And how important is that as we go into like kind of this next phase of productivity, which is going from, you know, sort of chat based interfaces to agentic AI? How important is that is the AI in this kind of transformation? The AI really unlocks like the potential of the human power. And so like when we're thinking about the documents and how it's helping it, like the AI is really like another teammate that you can help get you to things and better answers faster so that you can really spend time thinking about the things that are very important and required like more detailed thinking or strategic thought. So the way AI assistant, for example, helps is it really helps you get to like summaries It helps you get to answers within your content. It's able to help you with next steps. Um, What's really important with, and this is a big differentiator for us, and we spent a lot of time actually investing in this, is AI is good, but ultimately like a human needs to validate. And so we spent a lot of time on citations because a lot of times with um, what you're hearing is like the AI is hallucinating. And so Mm -hmm. with Acrobat Studio, what we've really focused on is you're selecting the documents so that the AI is not crawling your servers. You're also having citations that take you to the precise location in the document so that you can either validate the answer, you can get more context. And so a user feels really good about what the answer is and can build trust in the decisions they're making from AI instead of having it disconnected. So that's been really important for us. Um, I think the other way we are really using AI is within what we're calling PDF spaces. And so you can basically collect like files, links, you can do up to 100 right now, and basically you drop it into a PDF space. And this is a great way to interact with like 100 documents instead of a document at a time. So what AI Assistant would do is basically help you get to different answers. It's more of a thought partner where like you can say like, I'm trying to put together this sales proposal and it will really help you and guide you on like, this is what I think you should do. Um, In there, there's also what we have, what we're calling like pre-built assistants. So like there's an analyst, Um, uh, entertainer, which is always a fun one. Um, And then you can also basically easily customize your own. And so in just plain language, I can easily say um, like uh, what I'm trying to do or who I'm talking to, an AI assistant will generate like instructions that you can easily edit. So really helping to guide the, like the recipient or the user on like what types of answers you're looking for. Um, and really letting the user remain in control, but have like more help to like move things along faster, to feel confident in what they're doing and making sure that they're getting the right information from the documents. Spaces and just a quick little um, use case. I used it just the other day for all of my expenses. I took Mm -hmm. all of my expenses over several months and I asked it to give me a breakdown and it was like I would have spent hours to do all of that. It gave me a breakdown on how much I'm spending on food and beverage, how much I'm spending on hotels, which hotels I frequent. So I can easily go and like track for next year. This is what I can expect. You know, it it was really like quite impressive. 
And I love that. Like, that's, I think, what's been most exciting since we've come to market. Like, we started off with a, a bunch of use cases that are more like um, work driven, whether it's like comparing and contrasting contracts, employee onboarding. But as you get in there, you start to realize, like, oh, actually, like I can bring in related documents or unrelated documents. And so mm-hmm. we're just seeing this explosion of use cases, both from a work front as well as a personal one, because, Melody, to your point, right? Like, you just bring in certain things that you may not have spent as much time in or looked at in a certain way. And suddenly you have insights and you have help to go through all of this. How about you, Keith? How do you use it? Well, Mel, you know, I actually use it for work in my sort of day to day. Obviously, as you know, we go through and we get tons of different types of documents. And one of the challenging things is, is actually understanding if we're, we're looking at a summary, where is this piece of information coming from, right? And it's just so nice to be able to track that back to the original or to, to actually identify and look at, okay, it actually did say that X, Y, Z happened or this company had these this earnings or they did this initiative. So I really find that useful. Yeah. Yeah, it, it really is amazing, you know, having used it myself, just being able to really uh, in, integrate all of this within the flow of activities I would be doing anyway. So I think that's really powerful. And it, and it kind of, it brings up another point which which I want to ask about, which is, you know, Melody and I, you know, certainly do a lot of research in the space uh, around AI. And one of the things that comes up a lot is this idea of, you know, generating or, or realizing ROI from artificial intelligence. I wonder if you could talk a little bit about, you know, what makes Adobe different in, in really uh, being able to enable that? Yeah, really good question. And it's a tough one. I think what we're seeing across, and you guys are probably hearing a lot of this too, is like, all companies are doing a lot of AI experiments. And so there's all of these experiments around the organization. And what's hard is IT and teams are being asked, like, what's the ROI on this? What are the outcomes? And so a lot of times the answers for some of these tools are not clear. Um, But with Acrobat Studio, you know, we've really invested a lot of time in how we're saving, like what benefit we are doing for the user as well as the organization. And so we've done a lot of different studies and work with Forrester and others to really identify like how much time you can save, um, what the, like this be with Acrobat Studio having not just doc, it has PDF tools, it has AI, it has actually creation tools and the full suite of Express Premium as well as Firefly generative capabilities. So within one platform, you basically will have to reduce tool sprawl It'll consolidate the number of separate tools you'll need. So the cost for our software would be down. Um, and really like the amount of time we're seeing saved from these users is significant. It's anywhere from like 45 to 75% of time on document tasks. And so that really unlocks more time for our users to get more things done, to be able to focus on higher value work. Um, and I think, Keith, to your point, like the reason why it's so much easier to prove ROI is because it's built into the Acrobat workflows that you're already in, right? You're already viewing a PDF, you're already editing a PDF. And so instead of having to like break the user workflow, go out and then come back, like you're able to do it all within that platform. And that's going to reduce errors and also speed things along. To not jump around from, you know, the the context switching and having to go from different application to application, I think is, that's a huge, that's, that's very powerful in terms of helping to, to realize that ROI. So as you look kind of forward um, in terms of document productivity, what's Adobe's bigger, biggest vision, the big, the grand vision for AI powered document productivity and how much is that shaped by your history with PDF and what PDFs can now do in that kind of grand vision? Yeah, great question. So we have a big vision for digital document transformation, and it really stems from the three pillars that you're starting to see emerge with Acrobat Studio. So it's about faster access to insights and helping our users feel confident in the decisions they're making. It's about AI powered sharing that's really tailored to the recipient experience so that they have um, the context and all of the same knowledge that the sender has and can collaborate much better. And then it's also about smarter content creation. So really being able to take insights, 
go from like an insight to whether it's a presentation, an audio overview or other capabilities, really outputting into the modality that is best gonna communicate the message. So it's around these three pillars um, and really about how do you make it easy for a user to get through the entire workflow? It's not about one of these pillars in isolation. It's really connected to what a business professional needs to do and how they're going to get it done in that workflow. So we're really excited about this. I think for us, this is like the, we've been saying like we Acrobat's been around for 32 years. This is probably the biggest innovation for us since we've launched. And Melody, to your point, like PDF is at the heart of everything we do. We're very focused on what businesses need. PDF and businesses are synonymous. So that is at the core and where we are the strongest. Well, I think you definitely have two fans here. Um, and, you know, we've really seen the evolution of these, how these documents are used, not just with AI, but also to fuel AI agents and kind of the future of productivity, like I mentioned. But we really appreciate you taking this time to spend with us to talk about this evolving world of, of PDFs and Adobe Acrobat Studio. It's been a pleasure. And I'm Melody Brew, more insights and strategy, Keith Kirkpatrick from Futurum Group, and Mishi Alexander from Adobe. What a great and interesting conversation highlighting the new features in Acrobat Studio. And it's going to be really interesting to hear from business professionals and enterprises on the exciting new use cases for the product as we move forward. So I'd like to thank Melody Brew from More Insights and Strategy, and Misha Alexander from Adobe, and of course, thank all of you for tuning in to the 6.5 virtual webcast. Thanks very much, and we'll see you soon.